Hey guys, my name is Kira Bassi. I'm a movement coach for 180 Firearms Training. I'm here to talk to you today about the bread and butter of movement. So I started researching movement about 10 years ago. There was nothing out there on movement for shooting. So I actually took things from other sports that were scientifically proven and applied them to shooters. So I tested those theories on very good shooters all over the world and ended up brain dumping it into my book, Smart Move Economy of Motion for the Shooting Sports. And as a veteran, I'd like to also share that with those of you who shoot in a 360 world. So we're gonna talk about getting into and out of firing positions. First of all, there are three different basic steps you can use when exiting a shooting position. The first one we're gonna talk about is called the crossover step. Now the crossover step is really useful for close, open, easy targets that you can engage while continuing your body mass, shifting your weight through engaging the targets. Now what, the reason it's called a crossover step is because you're taking your rear leg and crossing it over your leading leg. And what this does for you, it rotates your hips in the direction you wanna move. You don't wanna have your hips moving sideways, even though our bodies can move like this, it's much more efficient to move front to back than side to side. The second basic step you can use to get out of a shooting position is called the pivot push. Now, in this one, you have a nice steady base to shoot from. So it works well for more difficult targets, or let's say you're behind a barricade, and if you start shifting your weight, your target is going to disappear behind that barricade. So you have to be standing perfectly still and planted. So the first thing you want to do is point your hips in the direction of movement. And we do that by pivoting. That's where the pivot part comes in. Now, simultaneously, you are going to take a step with your leading foot and just take off running. So it's a pivot and a push off simultaneously all in one move. All right, so the third step you can use to get out of a shooting position is very situation dependent. So if you're wearing a lot of gear and you've got to get yourself moving when you have no momentum or you are in a lean. So let's say the way you want to move is this way. Any body mass you have in that direction is positive momentum. Any body mass you have this way, not the way you want to go, is negative momentum. So if I'm in a hard lean over this way and I want to go that way next, now I have to create momentum where I don't have any. And you can do that by using your joints and muscles, basically using your ankles sort of like a springboard. So this normally does add more time because you're adding a step in the wrong direction to launch yourself in the right direction. But if you don't use this, you're either muscling your way out or you might end up falling over. So you're going to actually add a step in the wrong direction and launch yourself like a springboard. Now, if you have any issues with your joints, hips, knees, ankles, you're gonna wanna rotate that foot and go off the ball of your foot instead. So you're using your joints and muscles front to back rather than side to side. And that technique is also helpful for slippery surfaces. So now that you know how to exit a shooting position, you're gonna find that you have a little more oomph in your step than you're used to. You might find yourself you know, over running positions, falling out of positions, things like that, because you're not used to going that fast. That means you've done something right on the front end. Now we have to learn how to control it on the back end, which is position entry. First step we're gonna talk about is decelerating steps. This is how you catch your weight gradually coming into your shooting position. If you're catching all of your weight at once, at a full stride that's not a steady base and you don't have as much spring in your muscles as when your feet are more under your center of gravity. So take those short choppy steps coming in to your shooting position, make sure you stay low and smooth so your sights aren't bouncing all around and gradually catch your weight as you come in. Remember, toes are the gas, heels are the brakes. All right, so once you've done your decelerating steps, there are two basic forms of footwork you can use to enter into the shooting position. The first one I'm going to show you is much more controlled. You're basically going to cross your feet and then uncross them. And what this does is it catches your weight before you just float your final foot down to the ground so you're not jarring your sights. If you stomp that foot down, then your sights are gonna be going like this and it's going to delay your shooting. So we wanna make sure you catch all of your weight before you arrive in your final shooting position. All right, so the 
final move you can use to enter into a shooting position is the step catch. Now this is a much more aggressive movement. It's from when you're really coming in hot and it is hard to do it well. And the difficulty comes in where you have to maintain the same distance from the ground to your shoulders so it stays consistent and you're coming in horizontally, not popping up and down, making your sights bounce up and down. If you're making your sights bounce up and down, it delays your shooting. So this one takes a little practice to learn how to control. So those were six basic steps you can incorporate into your own training, no matter what you're doing. If you're moving around with a firearm, these tips are gonna really help you control your position exits and position entries. Position exit, remember we did the crossover step, the pivot push and the drop step. For the entry, we took decelerating steps and then you can either cross uncross or you can step catch. And if you would like some more tips and tricks, check out my book, Smart Move, Economy of Motion for the Shooting Sports, available on Amazon. You can check out my website, 180firearmstraining at gmail.com. If you would like to order a personalized copy of my book, you can email me, 180firearmstraining at gmail.com or to set up a movement training course near you. You can also find me on Instagram, Kitabussy, that's K-I-T-A-B-U-S-S-E, Kitabussy on Instagram, on Facebook, 180 Firearms Training. Thanks, guys.